All right, so here's how you manipulate tracking, kerning, and letting in Microsoft Word. First thing you want to do if you're going to do the letting, which is the space between each line, you select the text you have. And there's a fantastic button right here. Um, it has these two arrows pointing up and down. And if you hover over any button, again, remember, it'll tell you what the button does. Line spacing, that's what I want. So if I click on it, I can choose how many points. That's double space. So if I click on that, watch the text. It creates a double space text. If I go back in there and click on one and a half, it's, it's one and a half space text. And you can see how it changes it. So that's how I mean to put the letting, All right, this little button right here. And again, hover over any button and it'll tell you what it is. You want line spacing. Line spacing, if I want to do a triple space text, there it is. Okay, or if I want to go back to a single space, there's one. Okay, so that's how you do leading. leading. Um, next thing I want to do is tracking. Uh, tracking is simply the space between whole words, not inside of the words, but between whole words. So the way that I can do that in Word is if I go up here and and I'm sure you guys are familiar with a line text left, a line text center, and a line text right. I'm sure you've used those before. Right beside of it, you see justify text. This is the way to control or to manipulate the tracking pretty easily in Word. If you click it, you can see the space between each word increases and decreases. So it's a small change, but that's the way that you show um, how to manipulate the tracking in Word. Okay, so it's the justify button. It's right beside these three up here at the top of your screen. Again, hover over it and it'll tell you what it is. Justify text is what you want. That controls the tracking. Okay, now what about kerning, which is the space between, say, these two letters right here. Okay, I want to, I want to decrease. Uh, let's, let's create a header up here and I'll show you. Okay, I want to decrease the space between all four of those letters, right? Because I, I want it to be tighter for some reason. So what do I need to do? I go up to Format up here at the top. Again, that's Format. And I click on Font. And then from here, I'm, I'm going to make sure that I'm in the Advanced tab. You may have opened up in this tab, okay? font is indented there, you want to make sure you're in the advanced. So click on advanced. Go down to where it says spacing right here. And you have normal, expanded, or condensed. Um, if I want to, I can decide I want to condense it. And it shows you an example down here, okay, of what that does. So look what happens when I click normal. It expands. And if I go expand, it expands even more. See that? And I can also decide how much it expands as well. All right. So let's say I want to condense it, and you can see how tight it went, okay? Let's say, and see when, I, when I'm increasing and decreasing how it's changing down there at the bottom in the preview, okay? All right. So, um, so I condense it. That changes the kerning, all right? We'll, we'll get crazy and just make it like four or something. Okay, and you see how that changed the kerning of that word text. Okay, so that's how you change the letting, the tracking, and the kerning in Microsoft Word.